Okay, Jack and Nancy, I'm here at uh, 1032 Shorehaven Drive. Um, this is a uh, two bedroom, two bath Allegro model. It's one of their best sellers. Uh, 1,467 square feet, bank owned. Been on the market 39 days now. Um, and it's one listed at 128,250. 1,467 square feet. Uh, the carpets are going to be uh, totally, they're going to have to be replaced. There's a bad odor in the house, uh, very musty. Uh, it, undoubtedly, a lot of it is carpet. I would also paint the interior of the walls. Um, my main concern about this house is, although it's right on the lake and it's a nice setting, is the sun's right there. Uh, facing me and it's uh, I don't know 9 8 10 a.m. something like that which means the Sun is going to go over there and face the lanai uh, and that's going to be a very hot very sunny lanai especially as the Sun gets lower it's going to bounce off the lake and into your eyes some people like that some people drives them crazy uh, I just wanted you to know that um, Okay, let's take a look. Okay, here is the subject property. And I look down the street. All the houses in great condition here. And back down the street. And here is the subject property. Um, driveway, fine. Uh, garage door, fine. Uh, roof, excellent. Uh, good mature landscaping around here. Okay, no, gr uh, no dings in the garage door. Okay. Roof excellent, entryway uh, excellent. Okay, so come in, uh, tile floor here, and the master bedroom is off here. Here is the uh, family room. Probably you have an L-shaped couch there and TV there. Uh, all Allegro models have the study as soon as you walk in, either to the left or right, and the other bedroom is on the other side of the house. Okay, I'll walk to this corner and give you a look back. Nice, uh, nice setting on the lake. Um, all right, uh, carpet. I'm smelling a small, uh, strong, musty odor in here. Uh, walls in here look fine. Uh, there's some spots that need painting. Uh, definitely. Uh, I probably would repaint the entire uh, house. Um, sorry, let's go back here and take a look. Give you a pan back. There's the kitchen, which I'll get into in a minute. That goes to the other bedroom and out to the garage. There is the study. There's the front door, and that way uh, to the right is the master. Okay, going to the Eden kitchen area. Uh, carpet is quite stained. Um, back up and give you a view. Uh, kitchen looks fine. It's uh, Formica countertops, uh, tile floor. Uh, walls in here uh, look fine. A uh, little discoloration. Ceiling uh, looks fine. That's some dark speck up on the ceiling. I don't know what it is. Uh, ceiling looks fine. Okay. Uh, countertops in decent shape. Uh, cabinets in good shape. You got your appliances. Uh, refrigerator, dishwasher, range. Um, got a uh, pantry here. And let me give you a look back here. Okay. 
There's a shot of the kitchen looking out towards the lake. Let me back up a little bit. That may come out dark or light depending on how that window is affecting the light meter. Uh, floor in good shape. Um, that looks like a little mark. Looks like a counter used to come out here or something. Uh, walls here in the uh, hallway need to be painted. Uh, this is going to be dark in here, guys. Um, bathroom. Uh, uh, t tile floor. Single sink vanity setup. Corian counter. Um, tile enclosure. You'd need the glass or the shower curtain. Uh, walls and ceiling look fine in here. Okay, that goes out to the garage, utility, uh, laundry room, garage. Second bedroom. Carpet is lousy in here. Uh, walls need repainting, but I'm not seeing damage. Uh, ceiling looks fine. Okay. Uh, closet. Uh, walls look fine. I would, I would repaint in here. Ceiling is fine. Okay. Go back and give you a pan here in the second bedroom. All right, coming into the laundry room, tile floor, missing washer and dryer. Uh, that's just a, that's like a pencil mark. That's not a indentation. Uh, walls need to be, uh, uh, painted, but I'm seeing no damage. Uh, garage. Block floor, or excuse me, block walls look good. Uh, ceiling looks fine. You got a crack down here in the concrete, which is uh, common in Florida. Um, I think they say if you can fit a quarter into it, then you probably should plug it up. Okay, let's take a look. Let me go back through the kitchen. There's the master bedroom. There's where I came into the house. Back through the kitchen. Let me go to this corner, the eat-in kitchen. There's the lanai. There's the kitchen. <coughs> there is the uh, family room area. And computer or study room, front door, entrance. Let's go into the master. Okay, master fronts the uh, backs of the lake. It's a nice view. Uh, walls do need to be painted. I would paint the entire interior of this house, guys. You're probably looking at about a thousand bucks, maybe a little less. Uh, ceilings are fine. Uh, I've seen no ceiling problems. Um, closet. You got a linen closet here. This goes into the bathroom. That exits to the uh, front foyer and the study. You got a big uh, walk-in closet here. Walls and ceiling are fine. Seeing no problems. Um, Okay, tile in here, dual sink, vanity setup. This is Corian. Uh, glass, shower, enclosure. Uh, tile. Just needs a cleaning. Uh, walls in here, walls and ceiling. Uh, I would paint around that vent. It's just dust or dirt or something. I would paint, yes, I would paint the entire interior of this house. Uh, you got a private bathroom here. Okay, let me back up and give you a little better pan. All right, let's go out to the lanai. This is my concern, guys, is the sun is directly behind me, and it is, I'm pointed uh, due west now. And so that's going to be a hot, this is going to be a hot lanai. Uh, 
my concern is as the sun gets lower, it's going to bounce off that lake and right into your eyes. And uh, like I say, some people go gaga over that. Other people drive them nuts. Um, okay, let's go up back and take a look. Uh, concrete floor uh, definitely needs painting. Exterior out here uh, looks good. I would probably replace this uh, plastic or wash it. It looks it looks like it'd be washable. Uh, okay, let's go out back, take a look. Uh, nice lanai setup on the house next to you, or next to this house, excuse me. Uh, very nice lanai setup back here to the right. And what I'll do is go to the near the pond edge. Uh, pond edge to pond edge, I would say, is 400 feet. Pond edge down to that bridge down there, I would say that's about 1,500 feet. And the lake continues on underneath that bridge. Um, okay. I don't know how this is going to come out because the sun is directly into the uh, camera. Exterior looks good. Roof looks good. Um, geez, bro. That was a gator right there. <laughs> good thing I didn't get too close to the... There he is right there. <laughs> Jesus. Wakes you up better than a good cup of coffee, let me tell you. <laughs> um... Uh, the fix for this, guys, would be you'd have a uh, uh, lanai come out like that, or a pitched lanai, and you could have a solid uh, roof on it so the sun doesn't beat down so much until it's late in the day. And then uh, you could have lanai screens, you know, those straw screens. So it is fixable. But I just do want to let you know it would be a hot lanai. Okay. And, uh, let me give you my thoughts. Um, uh, the house is, this house is okay. Uh, needs painting, needs carpet. Uh, the other house uh, is, is more money, but it's move-in condition. Um, I think I like the other house better, uh, the back side situated for a couple reasons. One, it's not facing into the sun, it's facing away from the sun. It points, the back of the house is pointing east. Uh, number two, um, the pie-shaped uh, lot on the other house, you have considerable distance in between the house, houses next uh, to the subject house. Um, whereas this is a rectangular lot. But this, is, this would be okay with work. Um, I would definitely do something with a line and make it less sunny. Uh, that's it, over now.